What's up guys? I'm Crystal Lee Naomi, aka Jasmine Borders on Tyler Perry's Sisters. Be sure to subscribe to the Haves and the Have Nots review for not only reviews on the Haves and the Have Nots, but also on Sisters. And while you're at it, give your girl a follow on Instagram at Crystal Lee Naomi. And I'll see you every Wednesday at night only on BET. All right, Sisters fans, tonight is the night of yet another episode. And picking up where you left off, got to see if Maurice is okay. But before going any further, if you are new, please take a moment to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out whenever I post new content. Links to all my social media, they're going to be in the description below. And also do me a favor and make sure you follow Crystal Lee Naomi on Instagram, trying to help her hit 6,000 followers. We need less than 100 31 well actually yeah 130 people to go so we are almost there let's help her hit that goal by the end of the week now this will be my last sister video recording of the day because i've already done like four before this one but this is well a jasmine focused video and the question is is jasmine a victim and when i say victim, look i don't know how to title this up it's going to be a good title when i get to it but in terms of right now brainstorming is like do you feel sorry for jasmine are you team jasmine or team andy how do you feel about her? Let me put it this way. So far, the only bad thing she's done, and it honestly, you can, it, it's hard to tell. The only thing she's really done that's been questionable is her tactics of going after Andy specifically when it seems like there have been more than just Gary has had more than one mistress, it seems, in my opinion. So, are these other women irrelevant? I mean, you have the one girl who is Jasmine's sister, I believe, that, you know, um, Gary was seen at the airport because he went to go see, you know, what was it? His mother-in-law who wasn't even sick. So, there's no telling what Leslie was doing. Was, was she taking photos of any female who just so happened to be in Gary's personal space. I mean, apparently he's like an athlete, so wouldn't he have, well, fans kind of just coming up to him at all times? So is Andy the only one that he's been with? I don't know. But let me put it this way. They have children, you have an autistic son, and she's fighting for... It's sad to me, because again, keep in mind, with Tyler Perry, there are all these twists and turns, so there's no telling what Jasmine's true backstory is. As of right now, we know she has a sister, she has a mother, apparently, according to Gary, both Jasmine and her mother, as well as some other members of her family, are a bit paranoid, schizophrenic, have a few screws loose, whatever you want to say. And she just seems to be fighting in a fighting for a marriage that her husband is long, no longer wanting to be involved with. Obviously, if they had a prenup or whatever the situation would be, it seems clear to me that Gary would have left her years ago because he even brought up that we've been in, we've been to marriage counseling for three years, but it just doesn't work. I love you as the mother. I love and respect you as the mother of our children, but I'm not in love with you anymore. So it really makes me think that Tyler did a number on Jasmine representing the, not just the female, but just a person in a relationship who's fighting while the other person isn't. And it just goes to show that in marriages and relationships, it really is, you know, all or nothing. Like if you are the only one fighting to keep a relationship thriving, then it's not going to work. And I can understand it. I mean, you built a life together with someone and it, I mean, you can tell it isn't about the money for Jasmine going after the money and everything and taking Gary for everything he's got. That's really out of spite and anger, because honestly, it doesn't even seem like she cares about that at all. She really cares about keeping the family together. And I mean, imagine that, like, I don't think we know the full origin story of like how long they knew each other before they got together. But maybe they were high school sweethearts, whatever the situation is. But imagine being in a long term relationship with someone. You form a life together. You create life together. But then you find out not only did they betray you behind your back, but here you go going to the person that he's sleeping with for help in order to potentially get a divorce. And yeah, that can obviously cause some tension. So in my opinion, I think Jasmine is the victim. Honestly, for the people who say that Andy deserves Gary and, you know, they're rooting for Andy. I feel like the same people neglecting Jasmine's 
position as the victim in the situation while praising Andy are the same kind of people who watch the haves and the have nots and say that Candace and Benny deserve the money, even though it's technically the crier's money and wife's inheritance. And the same people who say that Veronica Harrington is awesome, even though you ignore the fact that she's cheated on David multiple times on screen and she is crazy. So um, also look at the fact that Jasmine, you know, really the only bad thing she's done that I forgot to mention earlier in the video is when she kind of wished pretty much, you know, Andy's life was a living hell. But that was to be and Andy took it like a champ because really there was nothing she could do in that situation. So let me know what you think. I've already done a couple Jasmine videos already, like. Did Jasmine arrange for Morris to attack Andy? Is Jasmine having an affair with Morris? I say no to both of those questions. But let me know what you think. Do you think Jasmine is the victim? How do you think the story will end for her? Um, season one is about to come to a close within the next few. What what episode are we on? Are we episode? Let me see if I can check real quick. My bad. Okay, it is March the 11th, uh, 20th, 820. I would think that April 15th is the final episode, if I'm not mistaken. I believe this uh, season is 25 episodes, so mid-April is going to be when season one ends. So, will Jasmine be in season two? Mm -hmm. I mean, if Gary's still around. I mean, Tyler Perry, when it comes to these court scenes and all, some shows he rushes. Like, hey, hey, hey like these characters are going to court, they're going to file paperwork versus, oh, no, we're going to forget about what a person was going to court for for three years. So, I mean, let's say if Jasmine and Gary do get a divorce at the end of season one and Gary's free, would he still be with Andy? Would Andy still choose him? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But with that being said, I think Jasmine is the victim unless Tyler Perry writes it. So she's definitely has a crazy backstory that makes you go, yeah, I can see why Gary's getting away from her. But that doesn't justify cheating in your marriage. But you know what? That's just my two cents. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll catch you all in the next video.